way more tired than I thought I would be. Oh. I'm not making great time, but man, these inclines are kicking my ass. <sighs> well, this is our whole adventure pack in the van. Here we go. We got dad in the front, Garab, Gabriella, mom, and you see, and we have basically the whole pack in the back. <laughs> and we are going in. Let's go. The mountain pierces the atmosphere. All right, we were starting out. This is the first stage. Just get out in the parking lot. That's it. Uh, Searching for a bathroom. <laughs> the first task of the day. Documentation. We're we're officially climbing. How are we feeling, gang? Yay! No one's got blisters yet. We're arriving at our first pass. This is the first floor. <laughs> We made it! Oh. Woo! Go! Whole families together. Yeah, we all made it. Where you are in the blinds go down. We love it when nobody's around. Wow. That's so I want to call out my time, but you bite my lip, don't make a sound. I'll be down if I'm leaving without you. Well, this is day, day two, and uh, we're about to set off. We need more cowbells. Yeah, right. We need more cowbells. <laughs> Tibetan cowbells. <laughs> That's how we fell asleep. But yeah, this is wonderful weather to hike in. AC plus a little bit of drizzle to keep us cool, and we are ready. How are we feeling, gang? So ready. Great. So ready. <laughs> so give me a minute to catch my breath. Take what's yours, I'll take what's left. I'm used to coming up second best. Well, Bob and I just made it. Yeah. Yeah, we got Patrick right here. Yay. We got it. 
job. This is the hardest part, probably. There we go. <laughs> what a love to down here. Dad drew you a picture. the troop all hiking up oh, I saw all the charging oh my gosh this is amazing Thanks. This is day three, Tour de Mont Blanc. We're heading over to uh, Bonhomme. It's gonna be 3,000 feet of elevation across four miles. Three hours and 15 minutes. How are we feeling today? hiking up this mountain. Got more to go.
Gucci. <laughs> Don't wait for me, honey. Don't wait. See ya. So there we go. Say hi. Hello. There we go. We're almost at top. Chocolate. So we get uh, bread, a lot of bread, and a lot of soup. Yes, there we go. down this well, town, right? Day four, right? Woo!
gosh, this literally looks like a resort. Yeah. All right. How are we doing? We're trying to get Weefy. Weefy in this. This looks like Scotland now. Oh man, it's coming down. It's coming down. Oh yeah. I think we're ready to go. You're fine, Robert. Thank you. You're fine. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so this is the day five of the TM Booba. Woo. Right. Yeah, fully broken in. If not broken. It's not new. Okay. Uh, it's five out of 12. Me too. All right. Off we go. Goodbye. Thank you. It's probably the only time that I can walk backwards without tripping. We don't need a destination, let's go where the river's taking us mm -hmm. Over fields and through the country, letting go of everything but us mm -hmm. Over the rainbow If we hold okay. tight, go. we can chase the Mississippi oh, through the night yeah. Hundreds of miles We can prove we're smarter than the <laughs> Let's go where there's no reception See if we can make it on our own Are you ready, Shane? Are we ready for the cold day? Over 
fields and through the country Letting go of everything but us mm -hmm. If we hold tight We can chase the Mississippi through the night Hundreds of miles away The water is warm Let's dip our toes right in and be reborn I don't know why Whatever mountain that is. to enter the Italian side. Guys, that might be the, the first sighting. Yeah, it's like a UFO sighting. It's an unidentified flying object. <laughs> Other, otherwise known as uh, Mont Blanc. At first I thought it was a leaf and I was like, why is that? Uh, 
Alright gang, we have reached home. That is home. Last couple steps. Let's go, team. Almost there. Almost there. Let's go. And we have arrived. We made it up. I took a bit of a scramble over here. I'm going now. Let's go climb up here. Let's see what the Ibex see. Day six on the TMB. We just left the Les Beta, the refuge, and uh, hiking through this gorgeous scene with the refuge behind me. Day six on the TMB. I'm gonna have to catch up to the others because 
I uh, left a little bit later and uh, to pick up the food. So five lunches in the backpack. Me now, A6, A6 on the TM Booba. All right, where are we going? Cormayor. Cormayor in Italy. waiting for us at the bottom. Okay, well, this is where we, uh, this is where we part for now, the morning. Yes, at Coyo Mayor. Momentary, momentarily hiccup and uh, we'll be back up.
this. Well, this is what's up. This view is freaking amazing. We hiked from all the way there. Jesus. Isn't that something? Wow. Wow. Good fun. Dad coming up the hill. Last couple steps. The last two standing. The, Don the Donner team. Donner team. Okay. Uh, yes. We went straight up. That was a straight up. We we regained every elevation, every foot that we lost today. First one. Day day seven. Day seven. Uh, the perfect day, exactly. Just, just the two of us. <laughs> we are heading out of uh, Batoni, heading towards uh, Bonati. I got the two messed up yesterday, and I was like, oh crap, we have another nine miles. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, this hole, I mean, she could be a living right there. We have made it. We're not even. How's it looking out? Oh, the same idea. Jeez. How was the mountain trip? Oh, it is rocks. Yep, and we have hail. First time with hail. Jeez, it feels. The company and all that. I think we are in a very happy where we are. We are very happy where we are. Burn it off on this trail with this gorgeous, gorgeous scene behind me. That's a refuge. And uh, I can not tell, but uh, man, earlier there was an entire shadow that was cast over the horizon. I've never seen anything. You can still see it, actually. You see that? That dividing line right there? That's cast. That's the sun that's casted by the, um, by the peaks. I've never seen anything like it before, but check out this gorgeous view. Rest day, a good five miles, and uh, 
yeah, getting ready for a long day, probably in the rain as well. So, okay, I'm just gonna take a breather, slowly but surely, make my way back and have a good night. What is today's day? Day seven? Eight? Day eight? I, I think it's day eight. All right. Day eight on the TM Buba. All right. We're heading out. All right. No rain. No rain and uh, no one to go. All right. See you guys. See you guys. Bye. All right. Well. <laughs> All right. There, almost at the coal. Last push. Last push. Top. Oh, we can Made it. That side is Italy. And here is Switzerland, which you can't waste much. But uh, yes, we <laughs> we will eventually uh, see what's going on. This is amazing. Yep. Oh my gosh! And here comes the cloud. Back to zero visibility. Man, that is quick. Oh, dude. Wow. It's like you just appeared out of nowhere.
much for joining me. That's basically what happens. Yep, all right, well, just uh, finish our little lunch break from the Oasis, <laughs> back into the rain for an hour and a half of Mad Dash to uh, La Foley, the next, uh, next destination. Well, we're just uh, underneath this tree now, just uh, hanging out, and we have a big bus tour, man. <laughs> Well, this is day eight, nine, nine, nine? yeah, day nine on the Pina Buba. So we're just flying by, flying by. See if our bird board is here. Oh my gosh, yes. That's incredible. Oh man, I mean it's so cleared up now. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh boy. It's pretty heavy. He is. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, geez. That's a good spread right here.
We've got another Ibex moment. Speed drop. Straight down. Straight down. Let's see if we can get up there. Let's check out this view. Like another, uh, another Ibex. Amazing. Let's try to make it up here. Yeah, we did it. No probe required. Let's take a look at this uh, tiny home. Glass doors, we like that. It's got a lot of nice little uh, place to uh, hang all the dry stuff or wet stuff. It's got space for four beds, two the roof, four. Oh man, that's cool. Two more. So it sleeps six actually total. It's really efficient. Man, this is a really good design. I like it. So. Plus this window, really nice. Very cool. Here's the refuge. Uh, got the campers. That's really nice. I like it a lot. Alright guys, there's been a change of plans. I'm actually going to be finishing the Tour de Mont Blanc, the TMB, tomorrow, right? That's accelerating it by three days, which means I'm going to be squeezing in three days worth of hiking and backpacking into a single day, which means 25 miles over 8,800 feet of elevation and decreasing by almost the same amount. I think around 7,800 or so. But yeah, and it's gonna be one hell of an epic day. I'm gonna be picked up at the finish line. Um, all right, let's finish strong. Sun just peeking up over the horizon, and 
and uh, we decided to do a variant today. It's going to add about 800 more feet of climbing. Two silhouettes on the concrete steps. We watch the sun as it slowly crept from the horizon to the place we met. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. climbing we're gonna have to get to the top of that ah. Ooh oh man all right let's keep on going Just gotta keep on going way, way up there. See the end. See to be a sign. Yeah, this is how far we've come. Oh shit. Oh. Are we there yet? There's a sign. What does it say? Bushwhacking thing. Can't even see. We're taking advantage of the flat ground to uh, eat and drink a bit.
And we are climbing again. Ah, never ends, huh? It's a river that we just passed through. All right, let's get back to it. These trees are just hanging out here. That is incredible. All right, second variant. Let's go. This thing, Whew. it is tiring. Ugh. We're pretty exhausted. And we still have many, many, many more miles to go. Okay, we're gonna take a food break. I'm actually uh, way more tired than I thought I would be. Oh, it's only seven and a half miles, but man, that's scrambling. Ooh, big ass rocks. Exactly four hours. Uh, I'm not making great time, but man, these inclines are kicking my ass. We'll see what happens at the next call or the next week. Enjoy this. That side, and the side, the front side. That's gonna be a whole descent. Don't wait for me, honey. Don't wait. Cause I'm always here. Inbound. Yeah. 
Descended from the top of the hill, um, the last peak on the TMB for me at least. So I'm actually going to be pulling out at this point with actually only about five uh, to six miles left to go. Um, why is that? Well, I'll do a longer debrief later about like everything I learned on trail and there's a lot. Um, but the reason is honestly my body is breaking down and today was actually the last day that I wanted to be on the trail since uh, I'm going back uh, to the States to California on Tuesday which only is a few days so if I do the entire 12 day um, I won't have much time for city stuff right so that was a conscious choice which is I either complete the entire trail in one day today which is kind of nuts or I'll get as far as I can, right? And then I'll spend the rest of the time in the nearby city. And yeah, no, um, I am not in the same shape that I was when I did the Jean Muir Trail back in 2014. So this, uh, back then I was able to do like uh, 25, 28 mile days, so. Today was actually definitely not a slouch, right? The Alps is extremely steep. That's the thing. So it's actually steeper than the Sierras, mile for mile. So I think uh, I didn't push myself the last couple of days, which uh, meant that my body was not used to just like, you know, shooting up straight. Uh, I'm curious actually how much I did do in terms of today's elevation. I did hike for six, uh, 16 and a half uh, miles on average, basically two miles per hour for essentially eight hours straight, right? Um, so that's been that's been kind of pushing it. Mm. Well, it's still loading. Anyways, I think this has also been an, um, an exercise in non-attachment, right? Like, and just knowing what you like. I realize that I really enjoy stillness in nature. No longer just challenging nature, trying to make the miles, crushing it and stuff like that. I mean, there's definitely time for that. And obviously I'm motivated to um, really push myself you know, physically and get back into shape when I return to the States. But I feel like um, these days, I prefer to stay in one place for a little bit. You know, enjoy um, the scenery, maybe the people. So this whole through hiking thing is kind of no longer for me, actually. You know, the um, the reason why I wanted to pull off the trail is also because I want to grab an apartment and get some stillness to recover, right? Just because you know, in the refuges, it's I mean, it's amazing cuisine. You know, like you're exploring French. Swiss and uh, Italian cuisine but uh, and the people are really cool too it's just that it's difficult when you know you're moving from one place to another and it's constantly new people all the time I'm one of these people who really enjoy death you know in conversations the deepness and connections so having to restart conversations and everything has been a little bit difficult actually you know um, so I'm looking forward to getting my morning routine my evening routine uh, back and mornings are typically my my uh, my stillness right so the last couple of days have essentially been like you know you're hiking all day and then you go back to a hostel uh, or and go to a bar essentially you know environment eating dinner with everybody which is totally cool you know don't get me wrong I love that I love the social interaction um, but it gets a little bit tiring 
Um, I feel like, especially in the morning, since those are like usually my um, my moments of stillness. But uh, you know, everybody's up like super early, packing and stuff like that, and eating breakfast, which repeats the same process again. Um, so yeah, it's just been kind of no break uh, in terms of that. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to getting some space, getting some stillness, getting some uh, quiet. You know, going to cafe journaling and working on stuff and working on the videos that. I know I haven't been posting for a while since, you know, I've been in the wilderness. Mm. But yeah, the whole thing has been pulling out is, has been interesting because, you know, the younger me would have gone like, yeah, of course, I want to complete everything. No, uh, no exceptions. Right. But then it's like, you know, what's the point? You should always ask yourself. What is the point of doing this? Are you enjoying nature or are you challenging yourself, right? Or are you spending uh, family time? Ultimately, um, you know, I think I accomplished <laughs> both the family time as well as the enjoyment of nature. And I have nothing else to prove uh, these days in terms of, you know, physical meeting, making the miles and stuff. It's just not something that I really emphasize or prioritize anymore. So uh, that's been a really interesting learning and realization which is I'm very comfortable with just letting go right um, and doing the things that I like to do sure I can go through hike for six months but uh, ultimately it's what you want to you know use your time for Anyways. that said um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the footage on this trail it's absolutely gorgeous, right? Like, I do want to come back and spend a few more days in certain parts of it now that I know all the ins and outs. It's, uh, it's been a true joy, really. So, anyways, thanks a lot for joining me for the ride, and I hope to see you guys soon. Okay, well, this is the, the rescue mission. Mom rescue mission. TM Booba. Gabriella is tapping, uh, tapping in, I'm tapping out. Where's Patrick? Oh, there it goes. Oh, nice. Very, very good. Oh. Today was actually a perfect day to, to hike. Handoff takes place. <laughs> this is the handoff, the transfer over, taking a smile. Morning. Day ten. number 10. 10. New crew. New crew. Reinforcements came in. We go into the clouds. And we're going to finish it. <laughs> it's, cold us. <laughs> it's a good sign. <laughs> it's a good sign. Where the ocean lands. It's the tallest sound, the damn smallest crowd. But the hearts break loud. Far from ever feeling lost with me. I'll push you back towards the land and sea They're going down for love and love is free Coldest hand. Stick with me the and I'll guarantee With the ocean lands It's the tallest sound The damn smallest crowd But their hearts break loud we have no idea where to go from here. We're sort of lost. Yes. Clear as the view of uh, so Mont clear. Blanc. Not a cloud in the sky. We're headed to Lake Blanc. Onward and upward. Yes. Ladders and all. Ladders and all. The gun done for love. It's a pulse and shove. 
It's the sharpest cry The head goes bit wide Where the desperate lie Look, our first <laughs> Ibex I'll never feel lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea They're going down for love and love is free Stick with me and I will guarantee You'll never last among the crowd with me Never last among the crowd with me sure that's it we think maybe (laughs) it's gotta be that one it's white it's the whitest mountain (laughs) made it to the top all down from here I feel invincible in every way. I'm gonna give it all I got. It may not be my birthday, but I just want to celebrate.
have no, both chefs and we can serve the rice on the side. Wow. Because what do you think? What is this? This is kimchi chicken. Really good. Man, great decoration on this too. TMB. Once we get off the trail, we we'll actually <laughs> be doing some really good food right here. Uh, wish you could join us, Mom. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Olivia. And Olivia. I mean, Olivia's having the time of her life right now, so she's, she's good. <laughs> I think she could become like the Jack Ma of ASM. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the, the last day of the trip. So <laughs> party. The parting, yes, that's right. <laughs> Everybody else is uh, inside, ready to go. All right, we're all heading to Geneva. All right, thank you.